Good evening, friends. I hope y'all are ready for a fantastic round of Facebook Live. Um, we, tonight on our show, we're going to make a fall sampler. I'm super excited. You guys know I make a lot of cards and I love cards, but I love a good home decor project for fall because often we have people in our homes or after Thanksgiving or we're going to someone's home, we can bring a gift. And what better sweet gift or just something to have in your house to welcome your family than a fall sampler, okay? So it's a gorgeous collection of wonder with our fun Stampin' Up! products. And the way that I display it is I just get one of these little, you know, plastic holders from craft store, Amazon, and just set it up like that on the table. So, hey, Kim Treslow. Um, so we're gonna make this gorgeous fall sampler for you tonight. My name is Kay Cogbill. My business is called Paper Made Prettier. If you're ever looking for me on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, anywhere, just type all one word, Paper Made Prettier, and you'll find me. If you're on this page and watching, then I'd love for you to like my Facebook page. Um, and uh, if you're watching on YouTube, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and get videos every week. YouTube name is Paper Made Prettier. You can see a pattern there. Um, so I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you how to make this sampler. So why don't we just get started? I'm going to flip my phone down and we'll get cracking. All right, I've done some of the things for you already because it's going to take a minute to get this gorgeous thing done. And I'm just panning out here because it's so big that I want to pull it up so you can see the whole thing at once. I'm going to zoom out here. It's a lot bigger than my usual things that I make on Facebook Live. You guys get to see some of my mess on the sides. Okay, one more smidge and then I think you can see the whole thing. All right, so this is our gorgeous sampler. That's all it looks like on the bottom. You're not missing anything. But um, the trick on this, which is super fun, is that I make it on the back of the little piece of white cardstock that comes in the any designer series paper that you receive okay and if you wanted to put this in a frame that's all you would need I did pick up these 12 by 12 canvas panels from the craft store I use these hey Dawn I use these um for a, a good substantial background but also Many of our papers, our foils, some of our designer papers come with a nice thick um, card uh, like tag behind. So that also fits nicely behind there and gives it some substantiability when you're propping it up or posting it or putting it somewhere. All right, so the bundle that we're using tonight is called, let's see where I've buried it. I've got my hand on everything we need except that. It's called Time of Giving. And I think, nope, that's not it. It's probably right in front of, oh, here it is. It's called Time of Giving. And I love a good set like this. This is what I call a, I know, Kathy, that's so exciting. Kathy's here, yay. But we're using this time of giving set. It's great because it the, the versatility is my favorite part. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, we've got all of it covered. Christmas, season's greetings, um, Christmas, fall, Christmas, fall, obviously. So all the good things, all right? And in the, con connected with it, bundled with it are called the giving gifts dies and we're going to be using 
this little die that cuts out pumpkins, and this die that cuts out gorgeous leaves. Okay, so we're gonna use the pumpkins and the leaves die out of here. And you, you want to definitely take advantage of this bundle because when you purchase a bundle, which means you get the stamp set and the dies together, you're gonna get 10% off. So I'll show you. So our versatile bundle is back here. Time of giving, $45.75, okay? And that's 10% off, it would have been $51. This, I will, I have already put a link to all of the items that we're using tonight. So, um, don't stress about writing all this down. You can just click the link that says these are all the items we're using. And all of these will pop up. If you're a happy shopper, just write all these six digit numbers down and go put in your order. Um, enjoy your 10% off. If you're not a happy shopper, we're going to talk to you about how you can get these at a significant discount starting tomorrow. Yay! Perfect timing. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to, oh, I need a piece of white, didn't I? Let me go grab one. I have a whole stock of white pieces. I kind of have a little section another piece of this white designer well hey Barb Reben it's good to see you sometimes we don't get to catch you live so this is exciting all right so you're gonna start with the back side of what comes with your designer paper I'm gonna inch all up just a tad more so maybe you can see the whole area here and the first thing I'm gonna start with on my sampler are my cardstock squares Okay, and I've got four here. I thought I had them all cut. Oh, here's another one. I've got five squares. Yep, and then I need two rectangles. Let's see if I've cut those. All right, and I, I am not gonna go over all the dimensions. It would take too long, but when you subscribe, subscribe to my email, then you will get this PDF for free, okay? So if you are already getting my emails about my classes, lucky you, you are going to get all of the instructions with the measurements on how to make this sampler. If you're not on my email list, that's a sad state of affairs. The good news is all you have to do is in this video, in this post, you can click and get on my email list, okay? Super easy, click, click, done. Takes you about one second. So when we're done here, make sure and do that so you'll have all the dimensions. But you're gonna need these two rectangle pieces and then five squares. Now, don't get in your head about this. Like some people get super freaky about these being super straight. Once you get everything on there, then it it's going to look um, fantastic. So even if one of your things is a bit off kilter. So I usually start with just kind of getting them all on there quickly. And then I start messing with them. And um, the main thing is you wanna have them in the center. So I can see I need to shift them down a smidge. And you just want to have even-ish even spaces on your outside. I can see I need a new trimmer blade. And I think I told y'all that last week. I'm sure y'all are like, why did you not get a trimmer blade, Kay? All right. So once you've kind of eyeballed it to where everything's super cute, and not obsessively straight because it's fine, all right? Then you're going to start sticking these squares down with adhesive, all right? You can also, if you're OCD, you can Google like how to, on Pinterest, like you can go in there and say how to, how to measure out my sampler. And you, there's like mathematical ways you can do it, but I'm not that person, I'm an eyeballer. So you tell me, are you a math 
person or are you an eyeballer? I want to know. And just a tip, you just pick up each square one by one and stick it down. In fact, it's kind of nice if you just add the adhesive here and then flip it. All right, I was gonna switch to my upstairs Wi-Fi. Hopefully, this will hold out. Sorry, the Wi-Fi up here is kind of tricky. Eyeballer, that's OCD. Aha, that's funny, I love it. Kathy says she's an eyeballer. Don't worry if the Facebook Live goes in and out, it will all be there in the end. Um, it's just my Wi-Fi is acting cantankerous today. If it goes out again and stays out, then just stay tuned. I will hook up to the upstairs Wi-Fi and it'll work. So just don't leave me. If I go, if I leave forever, I'll come back, I promise. Okay. So we're getting our little brown strips down. The, actually, these aren't brown. They're a color cardstock called Early Espresso. It's a great color for fall. Wonderful color. All right, now, the squares that we're going to add in these little sections are cut from the Regals set of Designer Series paper stack. So I'll show you an example. Like, the stack comes with every color that's in the Regals family. And I've, I've just pulled out to show you the pumpkin pie version. Um, but each color, let me see, I marked it to show y'all. Each color family, so if you didn't know, we have color families. Subtles, brights, neutrals, regals, and in colors. And each color family has its own pack of designer series paper. I marked it so I could show you. Because these are really hard to find, in my opinion. Because you would just be like, oh, that's not the one I want. It's down here, Regals. So this is showing you the neutrals, but it also comes in brights, Regals, and subtles. Okay, so that's on page 134 if you're looking for that. But um, I've pulled out the pumpkin pie paper. But that that when you order the neutrals stack of paper, it comes with all of, I'm sorry, the Regals comes with all of the colors, okay, in the regals. So now we're just going to smack these down. I'm going to go with the Cajun craze here. And I'm going to just go ahead and put some adhesive down on my squares. So samplers really aren't hard. You just sort of have to like roll with it. Like you pick something and just roll with it. And you just keep making each little square until you're done. So that's exactly what I did. And really, I wanted to start with the cute little guy in the middle, which I'll show you here in a second. And the colors I chose for this are, um, Cherry Cobbler, Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie. Okay, so those are the neutrals designer papers that I chose. Now, the next thing when we're building, I just build from the bottom up, not, not, not being complicated here. The next set of things that we're using is called um, Beauty of the Earth Designer Series Paper. It's from the annual catalog, so you might not think about that because you might think, oh, we're in the holidays. Let's go to the holiday catalog. But don't forget about our annual catalog. And over here on page 130, Beauty of the Earth designer paper. I remember when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's very fallish. Well, guess what? It's fall. Time to get it out. Okay. Or time to order it if you don't already have it. Um, but it's got all the pretty trees, but we are pulling out and it's got some winter things, but we're pulling out the pieces that are fall. And I used three packs of this because I made a set of swaps with our little cute fall guy. 
Um, but these are some of the other patterns. They're really cute for fall. I did choose this pattern with the gorgeous leaves. I love it. I love all the colors that are used. Um, and you just want to cut that designer paper just to fit right in these rectangles. Luckily, you don't need what I just dropped on the ground. Okay, so we're going to stick our, oh, I did that a little bit too long. I was doing that in a hurry. Again, you don't need to worry because I'm going to send you all of the information about the dimensions for this project on email when you subscribe to my email list. So, never fear. You're going to stick this down with your adhesive. And you're going to stick this down with your adhesive. You would probably be a little bit more careful than I was there, but done. Yes, Barb. Very cool trees papers. All right, so now we've got kind of the skeleton of our sampler. And let's just start. Hey, Debbie. Let's start with this section here. Um, actually, I'm going to start with some die cutting. We're going to cut this, 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 and this all at once. All right. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. On a sampler, I pull in some extra things. And what we're using is some dies from the time of giving. This die and this die. Okay. And then we're going to use another die from Word Wishes. And... The only way to see Word Wishes is just to see it <laughs> in the book because it's a collection of words that are die cut for each of the seasons. And it's, it's a die that you might overlook, but now that you see it, you're going to need it. Let's see. I marked it for us. It's on page... 166, but you've got New Year's, Mother's Day, Happy Easter, Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick, Halloween, Merry Fathers, and Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, oh, I guess I could have cut out a little happy, happy Thanksgiving, but I just put Thanksgiving. Um, all right, so we're going to use that, and then we're going to use two dies from the pretty the detailed pumpkins dies, okay? So we're going to make these two really gorgeous, gorgeous pumpkins. You definitely want this in your stamp collection of crafting things so that you can make gorgeous fall projects. So I've got these written here, um, word wishes and detailed pumpkins dies, okay? So the good news is... It's all gold, so I'm just going to do all of the die cutting at once. Hopefully, hopefully you won't have to see me grab the die cutting machine a hundred times. Okay. And you can see where I already cut a pumpkin. Pull all my little pieces here. I believe that pumpkin is going to fit just perfectly there. And we're going to do our pumpkin, our word, our leaves, maybe. Perhaps we can squeeze it in there. There's always a way. There. Now, you don't want to overlap your dies on top of each other because they will... That will damage them, so don't get too crazy with it. And I'm going to actually I'm going to switch this out with this so that I can put this here. Okay. Luckily I kept some scraps of gold foil from where from some cards I made recently. So I've got lots of nice scraps of gold foil. This comes in a 12 by 12 pack of two sheets for $5. This is the time of year to purchase it because you're going to use it for fall and Christmas. You cannot ever have enough gold foil this time of year. I Every time I order a pack, I use it and I need another. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to run it all through, and then I'm actually going to run it back the other way. Just a little less work, hopefully, and poking out all the holes. All right, so we have our pumpkin, our leaves, our word, and our detailed pumpkin. And that's going to require a little take your pick tool action to push out. And then this little guy, we're going to do something extra to that one. Okay, so I believe that I can set this aside now. We've done all of our die cutting. Now, I'm just going to get these out of our way one by one. Um, let's go with our gold detailed pumpkin. Now this you're gonna need to poke some things out with. You've got, we've got our, let me see if I can lay my hand on it quickly. I don't, we sell a little roller that rolls the pieces out of your dies um, that attaches to this, but I can't believe I don't have it. I guess I need to get that and my trimmer blades. Anywho, it just, these little pieces flop right out of there when you use this roller. So, um, fantastic. The only thing left is this little tiny divot there that you probably wouldn't even notice if I didn't show you. All right, this guy is going down to the project with a mini glue dot, two mini glue dots. If you want to be really OCD, you could stick it down with um, an adhesive sheet, which would have been great, but I just now thought of that. Um, you can also use liquid glue, but I mean, this is going to be on display. No one is looking at it up close to see where's the glue dot. So glue dots work great. Anything that's simple is what I'm going to go for. So sticking that down with a glue dot. Now, I'm going to finish this off while I'm at it. I'm using this gold shimmer ribbon. It's from the annual catalog. Don't overlook it. Um, hello, Rhonda. Good to see you. And we're going to stick that little bow on with a uh, mini glue dot. And Cheryl's here. Yay, Cheryl. Good to see you. Um, let's see who else is I'm missing. That glue dot, it did get stuck, but not very hard. Uh, this is our prize for this week. Um, when you do this, and I will draw for it next week. So I hope that you'll take the time to um, let others see this video. And I will draw for that next week. I want people that watch it through the week. Not everyone can watch at the actual time. I want them to have a chance to win. So, um, and then this other pumpkin from the Detailed Pumpkins dies. He's so cute. And honestly, I just use one dimensional. He's one dimensional. Where is it? That's my dimensionals. Here they are. Smack in the middle to pop him up. Like so. So there's one square. Done. All right. And I guess I'll just go start in this upper left-hand corner. We're going to smack now. Oh, I didn't tell you what this is. This is the neutrals of the designer paper world. It is called In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. And it's got all the best little patterns and pieces. It is uh, $21 for the whole stack, but it's got tons and tons of designer paper with all these wood grains, it's got textures, it's got uh, tile, so everything you could ever need that's sort of a neutral background for your projects is in that In Good Taste designer paper, okay? You definitely want to, to get that, uh, have that if you don't already. If you've been watching my videos, you probably already have it. Thank you, Susie. All right, so we're gonna stick these two strips down. And this little guy, okay, when I cut it out, I was like, well, that's interesting. Um, 
I wasn't really sure what to do here, but then I realized, oh, you just trim around it. So what I did, popped out all those little holes, get out my paper trimmer, which I think, yeah, I set it over here. And then all I'm gonna do is just trim this sucker down, right, leaving a little bit of an edge on this gold. to go right here. Now you could also use scissors. I tend to be a little bit more uh, straight and narrow when I use my trimmer, but you could also use scissors, I suppose. Okay, so there's your little piecey piece. I can see I got a little angled there, so I'm gonna come in with my scissor and walk that off a little bit. Isn't that cute? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of pumpkin pie that we just want it to be a little bit smaller, okay? This we can use our scissors on because all we're going for is just a little bit smaller than that. So let me start with this. Don't cut your gold piece. You just want a little piece to go in the background here. I just think that really makes those pumpkins pop, don't you? Cool. So, and then I'm going to stick this down with glue dots. Oh, hi. Is it Shay, hopefully? Oh, I know, Barb. Those wood grains are everything. All right, and I just put a couple of glue dots on these two corners, and these glue dots don't love me today. Let me just pick them off with my finger. All right, that's going to go down to this gold, to this pumpkin pie. And then that whole situation is going to get popped up with dimensionals. Okay, so that's just a little accent for this little section. And then I'm going to come in with these gorgeous gold leaves. I cut a total of five. This is from the, what do you call it? Um, time of giving bundle. So I've cut five total leaves. I lost one the first go around. So I'm so happy that I found all of them. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these down with glue dots. I'm actually just gonna take the glue dot and stick it here and take the glue dot Oh, I grabbed a leaf. It's gonna, that's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna stick this leaf here and stick this leaf here. So you've just got some gold leaves popping out of there, which is perfect for fall. Um, okay, so one, two, our next guy is thankful and it's a little white strip. And all we're gonna do is use our stamp set called Time of Giving. We're going to pull out this thankful. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. It's actually going to end up being a sampler. Okay, so Time of Giving and we're going to stamp it with Early Espresso. The darkest brown you could ever imagine. It's so brown it's almost black. So that's going here. And then I thought that was a little bit too plain. So I'm gonna come in and I'm only gonna stamp this leaf with pumpkin pie. And I'm not even gonna re-ink it. I'm just gonna go around and around and just get some little pumpkin pie accents on there. It was just a little too plain. All right, and we're going to pop that up with dimensionals. These leaf stamps in this set are so pretty. They're like really detailed, and you'll see that in a second because we're going to do another. Oh, yikes. 
another um, section with that. Okay, I'm gonna save the best section for last in the middle. So let's go ahead and do our other leaf section. So you're gonna use thick white. So um, I'm, I'm using thick white because later I'm gonna use blends and I like to use blends when I, I like to use thick white when I use blends. So there's two ways you can do this. You can use your stamp and write markers to color these. Um, and I think I'll do that, but I'll tell you the way I did it because I was feeling like didn't want to get up. I just ink, went in and inked this with my um, with one. I inked the Merlot. And if you dab it a little bit in the other ones, it's not going to hurt because they're fall leaves, right? They can be different colors. And then I'm going to come in with my Cajun Croix and come in with this corner. Okay, so actually... I'm ready to do that. Um, I don't think I will use my markers, but if you were feeling unsteady about this, then you can use your stamp and write markers. And then I just went in and used the generations um, around the edges to get all of those stamps. But you can see how gorgeous that stamping is. It's just part of the detail on that on that stamps that stamp set. Um, time of giving. So I can see that I cut that a little bit darkest. So let's turn that down a little. Again, you'll have all of the proper dimensions um, on the email that I send. So gorgeousness heading that way. All right, now what we're gonna do is our little Thanksgiving word here. And I'm going to use my take your pick tool to pop out these extra little hoo-hahs in my Thanksgiving. You can use adhesive sheets or I'm going to just going to use mini blue dots. And I'm going to add them to the part of the word that's the thickest. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go, oh, it went onto my finger. I'm going to go right here in the middle. And then I'm going to get one on this, um, gosh, it's killing me. And I'm going to get one right here on this H. Okay. So... We're just gonna smack that gorgeous gold word right down. Don't you love gold for the fall? It's one of my favorite things. All right, now what we're going to do is stick a glue dot under. Well, I'm gonna put this one on top. Goodness gracious, I'm all things tonight. And then we're going to get this one last little leaf. I can see it's trying to hide from me. And this little guy, I'm gonna have him right here. Okay, so just a couple gorgeous little leaves popping out there. Are we happy so far? Loving it. Oh, hi, Sharon. Good to see you. Yes, I know. It's so fun. Let me show you the finished one, but we're almost done. So, gorgeous fall sampler. There's one thing I want to try to find to add at the end, if y'all will bear with me. Okay. The last part is the cutest little thing. And if you have seen our holiday catalog, you might have overlooked this because it's in the very back. I have some friends that are Stampin' Up! Happy Shoppers that were like, I don't know where that stamp set is. It's in the very back of the catalog and it's under host rewards. So it's a host set, which means that when your order is 150 or more, then you get this stamp set for only $12, okay? So fantastic, but as you know, this is how you can uh, earn your way into a prize drawing for it. Um, 
Hi, Sharon. Oh, you love gold foil. I do too. I was like, you know, I could use all different um, card stocks, but then I was like, why would I do that? I'm just going to go full foil. Full foil. All right. Plus, it makes it so much easier when you're cutting things out, right? One cut and you're done. All right. I have not, cannot locate my white square, so I'll cut one more real quick. And this is for our little guy in the center, okay? And he is going to be so cute. The inspiration for this came from a card that I made um, for a swap, and I can't believe I made swaps with this card because it was a lot of work, but I was in, I had a car ride, and so I just, in the car ride, I colored everyone's swaps. So I've got this little guy, he's adorable, and I'm just gonna stamp him in this square. And I've got to find him. I'm gonna stamp him with a memento. Gonna remove all this for a second. Stamp him with memento. I don't know if you saw the good news. We're getting to that. But we have a spectacular deal going on right now on the starter kit. Okay. All right, so there's our cute little guy. And it's a good thing because I've used just about everything in the catalog on this project. So guess what? You can get it on a starter kit. We'll get to that. All right, let me get my blends. So I'm gonna start with light and dark crumb cake. Um, and I'm gonna do this quickly. You can do it carefully, but I'm gonna go very quickly so you guys don't get too bored with me. And we're gonna just, oh, actually I forgot. You can just color his whole shirt light crumb cake because you're going to come back in with dark crumb cake and go right over it. So that's just a little quick tip on blending. And his hat is a light crumb cake. I just, I kind of toyed with what color to make his outfit and I really just wanted him to like, I wanted him to show, but I wanted him, I wanted also for the leaves to be like the focal points. So that's why I chose a real neutral color pattern for his clothes. He's wearing a nice neutral shirt. And we're just gonna, every other stripe is gonna be dark crumb cake. And I decided his pants and shoes were just gonna be dark crumb cake. I didn't wanna get too fancy with him and get him all a bunch of different colors because I'm gonna go crazy on the leaves. All right, and we have to choose a skin tone. The great thing about Stampin' Up! is we have all of the different skin tones. Um, and so you choose what you want your person to be. We just we just did a, a lesson on that a few weeks ago on Facebook Live. So you can go back to Paper Made Prettier on YouTube and find that video. But we talked all about how to make all the different skin tones. Um, and then you're just going to get into your blends box and pull out your gorgeous, oh, I'm so glad I have these still separated out in a bag. I knew that would come in handy. But I just have Old Olive, Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Soft Suede. Um, I have a little bit of Saffron. I don't know what the purple that was for my Halloween girl. Um, I said Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze. So I think I've said everything. And then you're just going to whop in here. I'm going to do the cat with soft suede. I want him to pop a little bit. And you have to look carefully. There's a little cat. There's his legs. And don't forget his tail. It's popping back here through. Oh, and he's in an ear. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Um, oh, yeah. I can do anything in the car. I don't know why. I've always been that way. Doesn't make me sick at all. All right, so I'm just, I'm not gonna color every single leaf for you, but um, you're gonna come in and you're just gonna use fall colors on all of these leaves. So this is light Cajun. 
And then I'm gonna come in with some saffron. It's really pretty for the fall. And I just did about six or eight of each color, just for reference. It works out well that way. Um, I did some olive. I know they're probably not green when they fall, but I just wanted the green in there, so just suspend your animation for a second. Get some greens down here. Now that I'm looking at this, yep, that is dark old olive. Love it. And don't forget your pumpkin pie. We definitely need pumpkin pie. Okay, so you get the gist. We're just gonna color in all these leaves. Now there is some space between the leaves. We're gonna deal with that, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to show you what to do. And I actually think I'm just gonna color all these leaves in pumpkin pie just so that we can move on. Oh, don't forget a good uh, cherry cobbler, dark or red. And actually I remember, I like the light cherry cobbler better, so up to you, the dark is really bold, but um, it does pop. So be ready. I'm just using it because that's the first one I saw when I reached in my box. <laughs> I think that's all the leaves. I can't believe I did them all. I wasn't going to, but I did. Okay, because I want to show you now what you're going to do is you're going to come back in with this light crumb cake. Oh, here's one. And you're just going to color in the space between the leaves because, like, it just doesn't make sense for there to be white space in there, right? Because he's not laying on white he's laying on a bed of, of leaves and so you're going to fill in all that in between space with light crumb cake and then these little fronds here you're just going to give them a little boop, boop. cool are we good okay and I think that's all I did on that sweet little guy. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Like, to me, that makes the whole project. I mean, it's cute enough as is. But he's just the cutest. Um, and that stamp set has, of course, you've got your Christmas girl, your Halloween girl, and your fall boy. This can be a boy or a girl, honestly. So... Um, and a dog. <laughs> All right, so make sure and get that on your list. When you get that, um, when you get that as a host item, so if, if you put in a $150 order, then it's only $12. So that's a great, a great deal. All right, and I believe that's your whole sampler. Now, I want to see if I can find one thing, and I probably won't be able to, because I honestly think I used them all. What I want to see if I, was, I can find my champagne rhinestones. But I think that I used them all. But the champagne rhinestones are perfect for fall projects. And you can see that they're so perfect that I have used them all. There are none. Um, but you can also use the gold metallic dots. Let me find and see if I have any of those. I think I used all my gold dots too, y'all. I just, like, I've been embellishing everything, I suppose. But what I would suggest is, let me find my holiday catalog. Here it is. All right. And they're on low inventory, so don't snooze. But the gold metallic... The brush metallic dots are 156506. Okay, those are great. And then also you can pop in for some sparkle and shine. I'll have to order some because it's worth it to go on this project. Or the champagne rhinestones. What I do have a few of that I'm going to use are genial gems. And there are some golds in here. So I'm going to pull in, I want to go right around my thankful because 
we want that to kind of pop with our gold genial gems voila and honestly I think I'm gonna leave it at that I think I just want them in that one square the other squares kind of speak for themselves so that is our fall sampler we used a number of wonderful things on our fall sampler uh, as I told you earlier hi Teresa you can find the items all of these items are on a link on this Facebook post so you don't have to worry about writing all that down just click the link and it will pull out all the items if you're a happy shopper just write down the disc write down the six digit numbers and go put in a demonstrator order if you're not a happy shopper we need to talk because tonight we are heavy in products and when we're heavy in products we need to take advantage of a great deal and this is starting tomorrow okay so perfect timing but um you've heard of our starter kit if you have ever watched my video i love to talk about it because it's the best deal in the catalog but it's usually 125 for 99 guess what it's 125 for 75 so that is fantastic um i can't express how excited i am about this you can get everything uh in this like i thought of some different starter kits for you here's one the Time of Giving Bundle, The Beauty of the Earth Paper, The Word Wishes Dies, and The Detailed Pumpkin Dies. You've got Fall Dies, All Season Dies, Designer Paper for Days, and The Time of Giving Bundle, okay? And usually what happens with happy shoppers, they get such a good deal that they go in and they decide, oh, okay, I need some more stuff. And guess what? Your first order is uh, all your orders after that are 20% off. So then you can go in and put for the rest of these items to make this gorgeous project, okay? And in, and when your order's 150, you can pop in that Seasons of Fun stamp set. So most of my happy shoppers go ahead and put in their first order there. So um, starting tomorrow, so get your list ready, make it, get it ready. It cannot go over 125 by a penny. It's like the price is right, okay? So be aware. I want to show you a couple more things. Um, so one of the best things about being on my team is that we all share together. And um, one of my downline that's in my team named Khaki sent me this gorgeous little fall um, magnet. Isn't that neat? And of course, she's so sweet. And she has the most beautiful handwriting. But this will go on my refrigerator. And I'll think of her every time I open it up to drink some bubbly that's my drink of choice um and i also want to show you a couple of other items made with the time of giving bundle so when you pair it with our tag dies we have some tag dies we also have a tag topper punch you can make some really cute tags so this is a really adorable christmas tag that i got from cindy griffin in a swap this is a cute Christmas tag that I got in a swap that we did for um, our, our, at our retreat. So I love it, don't you? It's just the cutest, all right? So remember, these dies go um, in stamp set, goes all the way through all of the seasons. Um, I want to talk to you about my Stamp Technique Club. We are meeting this weekend, and there are three ways to join us. Um, you can join Friday at 1, you can join Saturday at 7, or you can join online and watch it at your leisure with videos and PDF instructions. We will make three cards. We're going to do this advanced blending background and watercolor ocean. So definitely something you would want to take part in. You can try it one month or you can join our club. And um, when you put in your order, then once a year you'll get $50 worth of freebies. So our club is so fun. Um, I think that's everything. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking after. I don't know what that says. Oh, the alternative. Yeah. Okay. I think I've told y'all everything. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, just message me about this um, ASAP. I'll get you squared away. I can help you get your starter kit placed starting tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.